Hello again. This is part two of the Windows XP settings series. This time we'll be using control panel and folder options to give Windows Explorer a more uniform appearance. Okay, as a quick review, just press the start button, which brings up the start panel. And on the left side, you'll see it's pretty much cleaned up. The right side has all of the uh, folders that we had chosen in the previous tutorial. So select control panel on the right side, which opens control panel, and you can see it's in a category view. If you notice on the left side, um, there's basic folder tasks, which you can uh, expand and collapse that have related tasks. So what we'll do with this, I like to switch to classic view, so just select that link, and now we have a more easier to uh, navigate control panel along with the uh, titles for uh, doing a specific task. So this time we're going to use folder options. Just double click that. That opens up folder options in general view. Um, what I like to do personally is have a single click and I also check underline icons only when I point to them and then click apply then we go over to the view and you can set your folder options in here. I like to display contents of system folders, display full path and title bar. Do not cache thumbnails, that's up to you. Um, I usually leave that the way it is. Uh, show hidden files and folders. I like to have that selected and also uncheck hide extensions for known file types. Just leave high protecting operating system files right now. Uh, we don't have to bother that. I uh, remember each folder's view. Keep that checked. Uh, restore previous folder at Windows login. That is, if you have control panel open and restart Windows, it'll restore the control panel. I just leave that unchecked. Everything else you can just leave as defaults. So just do a quick review of general and your view settings. Click OK. I can just hover the mouse over the icons and they're underlined, as you see here. And it just takes a single click to open the folder options or any other one in here. Press OK. And we'll move on to customizing the Windows Explorer interface. Basically what we want to do is clear up the top part of the window here where it has uh, folders and the address bar and stuff. So we'll close Control Panel with the red X. Select the Windows Explorer icon from the taskbar that we created in the first part of this. And you notice that it starts in the C local disk directory or the root directory of your computer. Another way to get to this is a little bit longer. Just go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, down to Windows Explorer, which opens up in My Documents. In order to get to your root directory, you have to select My Computer and then finally local disk. So by creating the icon it just gives us uh, quick access to the Windows local system. Now we can get to work on the Explorer interface such as removing links, um, getting the address bar moved around and dealing with some of the folders and the icons. So first of all right click, get rid of links and you can see they're gone. Uh, check lock taskbar, make sure it's gone uncheck that is and just take the address and grab it with the left mouse button and drag it up to the top then select the uh, little box that gives folder views and set it to details and you can see that you have columns of uh, name size type and you can actually right click on the column and select different titles to add or remove depending on the folder uh, for explorer I'll just uh, check attributes so once you're finished uh, selecting different titles for the columns, you can take a look at the folders here, such as search and the folder view, which uh, toggling gives you the uh, related tasks for uh, Windows Explorer, which you can expand and collapse, just like in Control Panel. You can go back and forth. Now let's customize this. Right-click a blank space, select Customize. One of the things I like to do is get rid of the selective text on the right, so just go down the scroll box and select no text labels. 
and then you can add whatever you want from the uh, left side and drag it over to the right such as refresh and folder options so we don't have to always jump to the control panel and whatever else you like like copy to or move to or delete I'll add that in delete you can move it up and down which moves it to the left when you select move up and back to the right when you select move down when you're finished click close so as you can see it's uh, cleaned up a little more we have uh, no text labels uh, we have the address bar moved around and let's go to the view button and we're going to select the status bar and if you look down at the bottom I'll expand this and select status bar if you look at the bottom you can see in the free hard disk space and where we are such as my computer so you can just go back over and look at uh, what we've done so far I like to sort uh, files and folders by type so that's what we'll do sort by type now let's look at the left side again of the Explorer and you can notice the local computer which you can collapse or you can expand and do a few other things as you can see we'll go down to properties first of all the bottom so click properties and if you notice this says local disk properties and a cursor that's blinking at the top in a blank space in there you can type a name um, I'm just going to type in XPMCE since I'm using Windows Media Center Edition click apply and then if you look move this over it's already changed the name I also like to uncheck allow indexing service for the disk um, so I uncheck that select apply and then apply to subfolders and files press OK then you'll see it start applying attributes this may take longer on a, a larger hard drive though eventually you'll get to another dialog just select ignore all uh, don't worry about that and then it'll finish up the task and when it's finished it won't take too long on this you just simply uh, select OK. So now we have a, a fairly cleaned up looking uh, Windows Explorer interface. Now let's go to folder options again with the icon we created at the top. This time go to view and we're going to apply this view to all folders. So go apply to all folders. Select that and say yes. I can read through what it's uh, if you sure you want to make the changes, let's say yes and then say OK. Close Explorer. Now the thing is is it doesn't remember the first time. It's, see, if you open my documents you see that the text labels in the address bar are still there. So make sure it's unlocked. Move the address bar back up and again right click in a blank space customize no text labels, select close when you're done, lock the taskbar just to tighten it up a bit. Now you can close my documents. Everything works. Explorer should have the same interface as would my pictures. Everything's the same. And my music. So we have a cleaned up Explorer interface um, that has a uniform look to it.